What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we got some new content. Just kidding. We got no new content. We did get that new locker code, but yeah. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub, all that good stuff. Make sure to follow the Twitter, selling MT, buying MT on there. Also, if we get 150 likes on this video, we're going to do some MT giveaways on Twitter, man. And once we hit 10K, we're going to do a lot more giveaways um, but yeah, if you guys do not know, yesterday, um, they had Flash Super Packs out, which they still do now. And now, here's the thing, man. You could have made thousands and thousands of MC simply by listening to my video I released yesterday. Um, I've made over hundreds of thousands of MT. Simple. It's simple. I'm going to tell you how I did it and what I did. So, first off, straight off the bat... I probably picked up about 10 Michael Reds, which is equivalent to around 200,000 to 220,000 MT. Now, here's the thing. So, if you guys do not know, he's around 27K, right? So, I got all mine for 21,000 and under. So, that's a start. 21,000 and under. And I got about, let's see how many I got. So, if you do remember in the video, I was buying a ton. Uh, 21,000, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 8, 9, 10. So I bought 11, 11 of these bad boys for 21,000. So now if I were to sell them for 27 right now, I would make a solid 3,500 about a piece. Let's just say 3,000 a piece. I'm going to make 33,000 MT off the Michael Red. So that's just the start. Never mind this Draymond I got for 80K on a snipe. That's another 20K profit if I sell them for 110. So that's 55K MT in literally 10 minutes and i haven't even tried so if you did work out these methods another one it really worked out well for is wiggins and honestly right now you can still snipe these out because those super packs are still going on so i would definitely recommend trying this out like straight up all right so literally like what should you be doing to be completely honest with you what i would be doing to be honest um it's simple I would honestly be sniping shoes right now. Why? They had that locker code. There's still a ton of movement. And also, if you guys do not know, um, pretty much all the shoes with three-pointers and anything to do with three-pointers is going to go for that MT. So that's number one. Um, Nike three-point shoes are going to go for the mo most money. Um, like this one, bro, you just want to look for three-point shot. Like you literally, that's it. Um, these cards are so cheap right now, and it's crazy because literally you could possibly get some of these cards for so cheap and possibly flip them. Like, something to do with shoes is definitely a good method. Um, you literally just have to pay attention to pricing. Wait, what is going on? Um, just simple, simple, simple. Just pricing. Oh, there goes the market. I missed it. Why didn't I bid? Why? So, I just missed out on thousands of MT. So, here goes the auction glitch. Now... If you, it is around, it's 100, 123 Eastern time, and my dog is freaking out. So now here we go. Now the auction's down again. I'm really pissed. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. So here it is. It's down again. I don't know what's going on, but now this is the thing. I could actually see what's going on behind these seeds. I don't think people can, but I now can see what is going on behind these scenes. I don't think people could see this. So now... I don't know what's going on, but this is how I'm going to make a lot of MT. I don't think anybody else in the whole entire world can see what I'm seeing right now. So I'm not even going to back out of this filter. I'm just going to bid my butt off and just hope for the best. Because this is going to make me thousands and thousands and thousands of MT. Ended. Oh, someone bought it out. So literally, if you just scroll down here, I don't think anybody in the whole world could actually see what I'm doing. Um... It says they're ending. That doesn't make any logical sense. So I'm going to try to get that Giannis for 420. I could probably flip him for 500. But this is literally what I'm doing. This is a great method. Now, did I get outbidded? All right, I got outbidded on Nash. I don't think anybody could see these cards. Now, let's see. We go to Opal. These cards are gone. Nobody could see any of these Opals between three hours. Like, between three hours and down. So now, I don't know what this means. 
For some reason, the pink diamonds are cool. But then you go to Opals, and there's nothing there. It's broken. There's nothing there. I don't know what's going on. But now, here's how you make MT. So now, see? I guess somebody is seeing these cards. I don't think anybody can see this. I don't think anybody can see that. I don't think anybody can see this dang. Now, I'm about to get dang for 12K. I believe he goes for around 17. I guess someone can see his Giannis. What I don't understand is... What is going on with the auction house glitch? I don't even understand the logic behind it. I'm just literally so lost. I don't understand any anything behind this glitch. I, it just literally doesn't make any logical sense to me anymore. I just don't understand it. So now, if this glitch is here and I like you can't see any of these cards, then what the hell is going on? Where where's the logic between these cards? You know what I'm trying to say? Like. I just don't understand where the logic is. I don't understand how people could see them if I can't see them. If there's a way, you can make thousands and thousands of MT. I know some people definitely do know a way. Personally, I'm one of them. I have no idea. I don't know a way. I literally don't. But, oh wait, here it goes again. So now, I'm going to scroll over here and just bid on everything. Now, I would go up to around 10 minutes. And this is how you're going to make a ton of MT. Now, I don't know if people could see this, but I think Yao for two something is going to be a steal. I'm just going to keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, just in case it does break and people do not see. So, I'm going to bid on this Vince Carter for 140, 163, that's fair. I'm going to bid on just pretty much all these cards. Like, Hito or 216 is not bad. Let's bid on Kernelenko. I'm going to bid. I'm going to use every single bit of MT on these cards, just in case... People do not see this. This is how you're going to make thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of MT because people do not realize what is going on with the market. This could be a W, especially if nobody sees what's going on. I'm just going to continue. Meow Ming for 220. That's a steal. Now, if it does work out, we're going to make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of MT. And we did nothing. We just bid it because the market was broken. So now I'm going to try to get that Clyde for 110. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep bidding on the Kernelenkos. And then we're probably going to go over here and just try to find a really, really OP card and see what's going on with that. Uh, Lonzo's for 100K, Vince Carter's, Jordan's. Let's see. I'm looking for like a Giannis or something. Not a Giannis. There's no Opal Giannis yet. When Opal Giannis get, comes out, bro, get ready for the biggest market crash of all time. Um, but definitely the Vince Carter's are going to be cool to look at. This Yao. And we'll bid one more time on something. I don't think anybody could see these cards. Um, let's bid on this Turkaloo real quick. Let's bid on him a little more, actually. And then we got a little bit of extra MT. Wait, what? Wait, so here it is. No one could see between 24 minutes. So no one could see between the two hours, but people could see that. That's why I'm confused. This game makes no logical sense at all. Like, literally makes no sense. So I don't know if people could see these cards. I have no idea. I don't know what people are seeing. I don't know what's going on. But all as I know is that if you can see those cards between the two hour mark, they are hidden. I don't know if, oh my God. It's just literally, if you may, if you want to make MT, you just have to catch this just in time. Like you literally have to sit on the market, I would say between 12 and seven Eastern and sit here and just bid on cards between one hour and two hours on the auction to make thousands and thousands of MT. Like, I don't know if I'm going to get any of these cards. But if I end up getting these cards, I'm going to be a millionaire. A freaking millionaire. I think you can see these cards, though. That is the issue. I don't think... I literally think that people can see these cards, which is kind of annoying. I don't know, but I feel like I would have been outbidded later. But if I get these cards, I will let you guys know. Because I'm honestly curious. If I end up getting these cards, we're empty millionaires. But yeah, that's really all we got for the video. To be completely honest, oh, I just got outbidded on something. We got outbidded on Colonel Lenko 8 minutes. So I guess people can see these cards. I was really hoping no one can. So it looks like you can only see these cards during, I would say, let's see. During, it said, it showed like what? An hour and a half to around three hours up. That's when you cannot see them. So like right now, I cannot see these cards. Now let's go here. I can see them. Now let's go back to Opal. I don't know what the hell is going on. So now I can't see any of these cards. But I guess some people can. I don't even know how it works. I'm just super, super, super confused at this point. So now these cards are gone. But I don't know. Can people see them? I have no idea. Let's back out real quick. Go back in. And they're gone. So I could possibly snag these cards. We're going to see. I'll let you guys know on Twitter if you don't follow my Twitter. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Because this video is very informational. 
And I'm kind of just showing you how to make MT and possibly make hundreds of thousands of MT. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.